And the whole question of whether somebody supports the Prime Minister and will vote with the government side or not is a real issue. For some. And under our constitutional arrangements, it does not matter whether you're a JLP or a PNP or what any P. What matters is whether you support the government's principles and programs and will vote with the Prime Minister on matters. That's what makes you a government MP. Every citizen of this country and those who reside beyond our shores. You tell me, there are 63 members of parliament, two of them, neither of whom, I think one of them represents an era under the state of emergency. Two members of the lower house voted against this resolution, two, and three unelected members. Senator Crawford, who is the only one who has remained here, Senator Bunting and Senator Morris, none of them who have anything to do with the parishes and the divisions where crime is making our citizens' life a nightmare. And for those of you who don't know why this provision is here and why it is Senator Brown and Senator Bunting continue to call the name of the right Honorable Edward Siaga, that provision was put here because of the illegal, corrupt 1976 state of emergency. Now I am calling, I, Tom Tavares Finson, the President of the Senate, I am calling on the head of the churches, I am calling on civic organizations, I am calling on the um, business community, the PSOJ, I'm calling on every sensible Jamaican to look at what has happened to here today and listen to me as I finally say. Two members of parliament, not the entire opposition caucus, two and three unelected members of this Senate have put this country in grave danger. And under um, our constitutional arrangements, it does not matter whether you're a JLP or a PNP or what any P. What matters is whether you support the government's principles and programs and will vote with the Prime Minister on matters. That's what makes you a government MP. The prosperity under the current system is but an illusion to be pursued but never attained. Indeed, the use of prosperity as a political slogan has brought that word into disrepute. No wonder it seems to have been retired to the same place as you can sleep with your windows and doors open. Fantasy again. Firstly, we have one government at a time. The People's National Party is not the government. You will well recall when the Prime Minister said that if you vote for the PNP, you may lose your life. And that if you vote for the Labour Party, you'll be able to leave your windows and doors open. Are we fine cowering in fear in our homes, locked behind grill gates, or crouching under the bed to duck, to duck gunshots? Is it okay that law-abiding citizens are paralyzed by the fear of crime and violence, and that our murders continue to climb? can sleep with your windows and doors open. Fantasy again. structured the police force in such a way that we don't want to hurt harm or kill innocent people but if you are a criminal don't test us we have this uh, joint uh, anti-gang task force uh, and I thought it was also important that 
uh, the country understands that even though the JDF and JCF have worked together for years, and certainly as long as I have been in, uh, in security, uh, we actually are setting the conditions for even closer working relationship and better collaboration. So this is all about continuing our focus on guns, gunmen, and gangs. And it was important, and we saw as part of our strategic focus and strategies that we had developed and planning that we had done, that we required an agile joint force that could deal with the levels of violence that we see here in Jamaica. It is not bound by uh, any particular geographic space, but will move fluidly across the country to interrupt gang activities, to disrupt and deter those, to recover uh, firearms or seize firearms, and also to focus on those people who are intent on creating death, mayhem, and pain in our society. The military personnel in this task force has been spe specifically selected to work with the JCF team. They are trained in human rights and they're also very familiar with the rules of engagement. So we will ensure that the rights of each citizen is respected whilst these operations are being conducted. However, if faced with a threat, the appropriate actions will be taken to defend themselves.